Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. We got some breaking news. Hope you guys are all having a good weekend. I know down in Tuscaloosa, your weekend just got a little bit better as Justin Haynes, in a surprising commit to many, goes to Alabama. He is a top 50 player nationally, according to the 24-7 composite. One of the best running backs in the 2023 recruiting class. In a surprising commitment, he's a running back from the state of Georgia. His dad played for the Georgia Bulldogs as a running back, was actually drafted in the NFL in 2002. All signs kind of pointed that he was going to go to Georgia, and he commits to the Alabama Crimson Tide. This is a massive get for Nick Saban and crew. Before we get into talking about what this means for the program and what kind of player Justice Haynes is, just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown the channel. Again, it's been a blast talking ball with you guys in the comment section. The support you guys have shown to the channel has been absolutely awesome. And we appreciate every single one of you guys who interacts with us. Let's talk a little bit about the player first. What jumps out to me first is the thick legs. He's got an NFL college football running back body as a junior rising senior in high school. You can tell this guy is serious in the weight room. And, and that that lower half is kind of what, what stands out to me. All the top running backs, especially if you think about some of the best running backs who've gone through Alabama, guys like Derrick Henry or Trent Richardson, guys like that, those guys have those that thick lower body. Mark Inger is probably the best example of that. That thick lower body, that allows you to kind of have that great contact balance and, and drive through tackles. And he's already that developed. I mean, he's he's had a dad who's played at the highest level. He knows what it takes. And just to show you guys what I mean, you check out this highlight of him. The contact balance is there. And then what else you want to see? That breakaway ability, the ability to hit those home run plays. Kind of contact balance, good vision through the hole, and then, and then he's gone. That's kind of what I mean. And this is kind of what the player that is coming to Alabama. And again, why does Alabama always get the best running backs in the country? Because they are going to be running behind the best offensive line in the country. And Alabama just puts out running backs in the NFL, like it's their job most recently, obviously, Najee Harris. But you can go back the last decade, and, and the running backs that Alabama produces is just on another level. And so that's why they've had such success, kind of getting these top running backs in the recruiting classes to come to Alabama. Now, what this means for the program is if you look five, ten years down the road, who, what, what team are you competing with the most? It's Georgia. The national championship, the SEC championship, runs through Alabama or Georgia every single year. And being able to get a commit that really was crystal ball to go to Georgia, pull them to Alabama, that's the type of thing, that's the type of recruiting battles that Alabama needs to win. Taking a look at the class for Alabama, it's been a, it's been a slow class for Alabama. A, a, you're seeing a lot, of, a lot of Ohio State, Oklahoma, LSU, who are really hot on the recruiting trail. Nick Saban is sitting back again. It's really early in the 2023 recruiting class. It's all fun for these guys to commit early, but a lot of these guys end up decommitting, going to different schools, and again, a lot of guys on the board. And this could really be a good next couple of months for Alabama as they have a lot of scholarships left on the table in the 2023 class, and there's a lot of top 50 players who are still available. But looking at this recruiting class, again, it's it's lowly ranked at 11th because they don't have a ton of commits. The, the teams that are really high up there, Ohio State and Notre Dame, have 15-plus commits. Alabama has plenty of time to bump that up. And like clockwork, Alabama is going to bring in another top-five class. It's just a matter of time. Nick Saban and his crew, they just know how to get it done on the recruiting trail. And again, what, what I'm very interested to see, and we'll close this out here, keep it short for you guys, is you know who else was really on Alabama's mind and seemingly crystal balled there is Richard Young, the kid from South Florida. He is what top 25 nationally, the number two running back on most, uh, most sites uh, in 2023, excuse me. I wonder if that changes his commitment. I wonder if maybe he's not considering Alabama. And again, you've seen Alabama, they have loaded running back rooms. It wouldn't be a problem to have Richard Young and Justice Haynes in the same class. But again, I wonder what that means for Richard Young and his commitment, he's obviously taken some visits to Georgia, Ohio State, Oregon. But to say the least, Justin Haynes, this is a great pickup for Alabama. Alabama continue to just come along and, and just pump out really, really good classes. And obviously, they developed that on the field. Appreciate you guys checking us out. Wanted to keep it short. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. And again, if you guys do like the content, 
consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate it, and we'll talk to y'all later.